Hello and welcome to another lesson on SolidWorks. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to make a conical spring in SolidWorks. To start off, open up the program SolidWorks has shown here. Click on the white page at the top and click on the new part and OK that. Once loaded up, right hand click on the top plane here and then left hand click on the sketch button here. Right, the first step is to draw the circle, the OD, of your conical spring. So select the circle tool and from the origin draw a circle. And then you want to give this circle a dimension. So for this example, I give that a measurement of 50mm. Tick that. The next step is to uh, give it the helix. So clicking on the features tab here and going along to the curves tool and, the, and using the helix tool. We then want to select a varied pitch and this will allow us to change the pitch and the diameter of the spring. So for this example I'm going to keep the pitch constant always at 10 mil but the diameter will change as the spring will go down. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put 9.5, that'll, so that will jump from one revolution to 9.5 revolutions. And then here I'm going to enter in what I want the top dimension to be on the top circle. So. I want it to be 35mm and as you can see the, the preview shows the actual spring curving, curving in and all the calculations are done so it's all even through the whole spring. Uh, obviously if you want it uh, clockwise or counterclockwise select these different buttons if you want it to select starting at a different angle I usually just zero that for ease and obviously reverse direction so you can have it uh, in either direction. Uh, once you've uh, entered all your sizes and dimensions in here, tick that. And uh, the next job is to, to um, dimension a circle on the helix to then sweep it along which will give the uh, the helix its diameter in wire. So to do that, click on the reference geometry tool up here, click on the plane tool, and uh, just delete that when it comes up by clicking on it and deleting it. And first reference point, just click on the helix itself. For the second reference point, click on the very end point of the helix. And you know that it's fully defined because there's a message saying it's fully defined and it's also turned blue. So you then want to tick that button to confirm and uh, right click on the plane and then left click on the sketch button. That will allow you to sketch on this plane what you've just made. You then want to select the circle tool and draw a circle on it. You want to right click as a shortcut and just give that a dimension. Uh, for this example I'm just going to use 6mm so it'll be 6mm wire on my conical spring. Uh, to get this circle onto the helix first of all I need to click on the point and put a point onto the helix. So once you put a point on your plane left click on your point holding down the control button on your keyboard and then also left click on the helix and then you can select the relationship pierce that will pierce that point to the end of the helix you then want to tick that and then select the center of your circle and you know you've, you've selected the center because it will turn blue the little blue dot will appear you then want to go back holding down the control button again and click on the point and this time you can add a coincidence relationship and that will jump the circle onto the helix and you know that it's fully defined 
and it can't go anywhere because it's turned black. You don't want to tick this. The next step is to, uh, to sweep the boss. So make sure you've exited sketch and select the sweep boss and it's automatically jumped to the second sketch we've done and, uh, and then put it here. If it didn't do that, click on click on this button, then select that circle. You then want to jump down to this one and click on the helix. And this should give us a preview of what our conical spring will look like. You then want to tick this. And uh, finally, at the finishing touches, a spring maker will always grind off between 70 and 75% on the top. This will give a square finish, so when the spring is placed on a flat surface, it, it can't roll or it's not unsteady, it's stable. So the best way to do this is to hover over the right, right plane, right click, and normal 2, and then right click on the plane, and then sketch. And uh, the best way of uh, quickly cutting a bit off the top is to use the corner rectangular tool by clicking up here and just drawing a rectangle up there and one down here. And if we do doing both at the same time, it's twice as fast. So then you want to uh, select out of there. The next point is to give that a measurement from this line here to uh, the bottom of the surface so you know how much is going to be grinded off. So the best way to do this is to select the point tool again, zoom it, and hovering over the circle, the circle's face, and then just clicking when you get to one of these markers what appear, and uh, do the same for the top. And then tick that, and then you want to give it a dimension. So uh, from there down to this line. Uh, for this example, we'll just say um, four point. No, sorry, we'll go for uh, three point five mil, and uh, tick that. And zoom down again to the bottom and do the same. 3.5 mil and tick that. And then zoom out so you get a better view. Turn it sideways a bit. And then um, you want to go on the features tool along the tab and use the tool extrude cut. You want to select that. Um, Directions, I'd go mid plane so it's an even distance on both sides, and then just extend the distance. And you can see here it's easily going to cover both the bottom and the top's diameters. And then tick that. And as you can see, it's grinded off on the top layer. And uh, I'm just going to hide that plane, and uh, there you have it. There's a, a conical spring in SolidWorks. It's very simple. Uh, don't, for, don't forget to subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel and if you've got any uh, comments or feedback you'd like to leave it's more than welcome and uh, thanks for watching.